So this is the beginning lesson. One of the pre-algebra uh, lesson plans is learning how to combine like terms. It's one of the most important uh, lessons that you need to know because I know a lot of students, they don't understand what goes with what, and they usually combine the wrong terms. I mean, it's a very underrated subject, and, it, and it's, a, it's a very simple thing to understand, too. So let's start with the most basic example right here, and you'll see x plus 2x is 3x. You can combine x's. So you combine like terms. And remember, there's like a 1 always in front of the x when there's nothing. So it's 1x plus 2x is equal to 3x. So you can see I'll mark it here. You always have like terms. x is one like term, OK? And then the next example, you'll see x plus y. And what is that equal to? Well, x and y are apples and oranges. They're two different things. So you can't really combine them. So x plus y is really just x plus y. You can't simplify anymore. x plus y is x plus y. You can't combine two different elements. Okay? So you will see x is x. You can't, you can't combine the y with the x like that. So the next example I'll show you is you'll get y squared plus 3y squared. So you get two different two of the same terms. Okay? See, they're the same. When they're the same elements, you can combine them. But is only when they're the same. So for this example, if I have x here, y squared plus x, you can't combine them. Or y squared plus y, you can't combine them. But since it's y squared plus another y squared, so y squared plus 3y squared, that will equal to 4y squared, because they're the same thing. So 1y squared plus 3y squared is 4y squared. And then we'll go to another example down here, and you'll see a lot more clearly how when you can combine and when you can't. So right here, you have 2x and a 1x and a 4, OK? So what can you combine? Only the x's, right? You can't do anything with a 4. 4 doesn't combine with the x's. So what you get is 2x plus x, which is 3x, because remember there's a 1 in front of the x. You have to remember that always. A lot of people forget that. So 2x plus, 3, 2x plus x is 3x. And then the 4 is just by itself, plus 4. That's it. Can't do anything about it, OK? So we have another example. So what happens when there's an xy? So what does that do? It's like xy is a, its own little category. It's like, what's that? I mean, do, what if there's only an y and there's an x? And what, what do you do? So xy is actually one element. You have to think of it as one thing. That's the best way to visualize. So 3xy plus 4xy is really just 7xy. Think of it as one little thing, OK? So we'll go on to the final example of this uh, first lesson of a combined like terms. It's basically 2y plus 3xy plus 4y. So what can you do there? Well, you can combine the y's, right? See, 2y plus 4y, and it will equal to 6y. But can you do anything with a 3xy? Can you, can you say 2y plus 3xy equals the 5xy? No, you can't do that because these are different. Y and XY are two different elements. You can't just combine them. But you can combine the Ys, just not when it's XY. So 2Y plus 4Y is 6Y. And then 3XY is just by itself, because there's nothing else. There's no other XYs here, right? So I hope uh, you understand this lesson plan. Please um, comment, email me with any questions. Uh, I'll move on to the next plan.